okay guys welcome back to science education channel and again as usual i'm here again to present to you the syllabus for science from grade 10 to grade 12 and actually this syllabus is for the zambian curriculum so again as usual this is the 2013 syllabus that is working up to date and it's the syllabus that we are following on our channel as we produce videos so i'm going to go through or the channel the the actually syllabus so that you see the topics as laid out if you are studying on your own already so that you'll be guided if you have material and if you don't have material let us know in the comment section because we have a lot of it that we are we are ready to share with our viewers so that as you study you pass and when you pass we are excited because we know you are going to recommend us to other people that are going to and subscribe to our channel and continue viewing our wonderful lesson so let's go into the uh syllabus itself and this is the science actually as you can see science syllabus and you know when we talk about science that means we are talking about physics and chemistry so the first part of the syllabus starts with the physics in fact if i want i can tell you the content here the content when you start with grade 10 you are supposed to have general physics then you have to look at under general physics the subtopic are supposed to be international system of units you have to know them then you have to look at measurements which is actually length and time you are supposed also to look at mass and weight when you finish this topic the second topic is mechanics where you look at linear motion where you discover acceleration speed velocity you also go to forces moments of forces you also look at work energy and power you also look at simple machines then you go to grade 11 where you look at thermal physics in grade 11 you look at thermal physics under thermal physics you cover measurement of temperature you look at expansion of solids liquids and gases you look at heat transfer by con conduction convection radiation then you go to another topic called wave motion where you look at electromagnetic spectrum sound properties of sound light electrical propagation of light refraction of light then you go to another topic called magnetism under magnetism you look at simple phenomena of magnetism then you go to grade 12 where you look at static electricity static itself static electricity then you also go to current electricity where you look at electric charge electric uh, you look at current and the potential difference you also cover electric cells electric resistors then you also look at heating effect of an electric current you look at magnetic effect of electric electric current you also look at electromagnetic induction so let me go through and allow you to see on a bigger picture now how the syllabus looks like so we go to the bigger picture of the syllabus where you look at grade 10 and so as i said you look at general physics where the subtopic is international system of units also known as si you also cover under this one the subtopic you cover a length and time you look at mass and weight so you also look at the mechanics where you look at linear motion you also look at under these forces you also look at moments of forces you look at the work energy and power you also look at the simple machines under simple machines that is where grade 10 work ends then grade 11 work starts on thermal physics where you look at simple kinetic theory of matter under simple kinetic theory of matter you look at measurement of temperature also you look at expansion of solids liquids and gases you also look at uh, heat transfer by conduction convection and radiation you also look at another topic called wave 
motion. Under wave motion, you look at simple ideas of the wave motion theory. Then you look at electromagnetic spectrum. You also look at sound as another topic where you look at properties of sound. You also look at a light and under light to look at electrinia propagation of light. You also look at refraction of light. Then also you look at lenses and then you also look at another topic called magnetism where you look at simple phenomena of magnetism and also here you, you this is where grade D actually 11 work uh, ends then you go into grade 12 and the first topic is static electricity where you look at the static electricity itself and after that you go to another topic called current electricity and if you have been following our videos actually this is where we started from because actually we want also the the pupils that are in grade 12 now to understand this so once we are done with this we are going to go back to grade 10 week and then come up to where we ended so so we started with the static electricity on our channel if you want to check you see videos around that talking about static electricity just search our channel then uh, you go also to current electricity under current electricity you look at electric charge we also covered this one you look at current and the potential difference so we are going to post it there very soon a video about potential difference then you also look at electric cells we'll cover them as well so we'll also look at electrical resistance you also look at heating effect of an electric current you also look at um, magnetic effects of electric currents then you go to another topic called electromagnetic induction where you look at the phenomenon of electromagnetic induction also you look at the simple ac and D, dc generators also here we look at transformers we also look at another topic called basic electronics and under basic electronics you look at first thermionic on emission and electrons then that's uh that is it then you go to another subtopic called atomic physics where you look at the nuclear atom and from there you go to radioactivity and uh, uh, this one is the last topic actually in physics as part of a uh, science syllabus then you go to chemistry and with chemistry with grade 10 uh, starts with the introduction to chemistry where you look at introduction to chemistry itself uh, again you go to the another topic uh, called the particulate nature of matter where you look at the matter and the kinetic theory from here you look at diffusion and uh, that is it then you go to experimental techniques where you look at measuring of quantities then you look at criteria of purity then you look at separating mixtures then you go to another topic called atoms elements compounds and molecules where you look at atomic structure and periodic table and then you go to bonding after bonding, you go to a chemical formula and equations, and then grade 10 work ends. Then you go to grade 11 work, which starts with acid, bases, and the sorts where you cover characteristics of or properties, uh, I mean characteristic properties of acids and the bases. Here you also cover uh, preparation of sorts, and then you look at types of oxides then you look at identification of ions and gases and this actually is what we call qualitative analysis after this you go to the topic called the more concept where you look at relative atomic mass or relative masses and actually we started here with our lessons about chemistry where we started looking at the more concept we defined what the relative atomic mass is the more also we covered a lot here so actually we are still here because this topic is actually a little bit big because look we have this part to cover yet determining limiting reagent in a given reaction so titration also here 
so it's a big big topic here so after that you go to chemical reactions where you look at the rate of chemical reactions then after that you go to the periodic table where you look at groups and periods you look at groups and periodic trends then you go to transition metals and then comes to the end of all grade B. 11 work then you go to grade 12 work where you cover metals under metals you look at the general properties of of a metal or of metals then you look at the reactivity and electrochemical series then also here you look at alloys then you look at uh, corrosion then you look at nanometers where you look at general properties of nanometers you look at hydrogen oxygen um continuation of oxygen then you look at nitrogen you also look at carbon and carbonates then you also look at organic chemistry where you look at saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons you also cover uh, alcohols or alkanos then you also cover carboxylic acids or alkanoic acid then you go to esters or alkanoids then also you go to homologous series so you go to homologous series and then after homologous series you look at macro molecules which are polymers then uh, i think that marks the end of the syllabus and now let us look at the summary of the syllabus here these are symbols that are used in the science and then some common equations so when and the, the requirements uh, and everything so uh, when come to the now summary of it this is the summary of the syllabus itself actually now this is the summary summary of the syllabus so this syllabus is very very important that you need to follow it even as you do what you study even as you watch our videos so this is why we have decided to provide you with the syllabus so that Whatever you do is in line with the, the syllabus, so you confirm whatever we teach here is in line with the syllabus of the Zambian curriculum. Perhaps you are not from Zambia and you are following our channel. Let me tell you that science is just the same across the nation and in fact you are welcome to follow also and like our videos and also subscribe because I, I, I tell you you are going to find the value on this channel because we want to become the best channel on youtube uh, in terms of giving free education and actually a person can actually learn following the syllabus we have provided on the youtube and then go and sit and pass their exams so thank you very much once again for watching until we see you next time in the next video Bye-bye for now.